I, I can't disagree with Raul. Certainly, it has changed since 2005. Certainly, almost every time one goes to a meeting, one hears the words multi-stakeholder. But I actually think it's changed a lot less than many of us would have hoped. I think that we have one or two examples, IGF and, and a couple other places, where there is a certain amount of multi-stakeholder. There is a certain amount at ICANN. We have organizations like the IETF, where there's been a multi-stakeholder model since way before anybody had the words. But then if you look around at the other uh, institutions, there's, there's still a long way to go. Uh, earlier in one of the speeches, it was talked about the internet being an adolescent. In terms of multi-stakeholder model, I think we're not, we're quite at the toddler stage. We're, we're basically starting to find our feet, but haven't quite found them yet. With every new organization or grouping that comes along, the fight has to happen again. We have to try and get civil society and, and the private sector included. Sometimes some come in before civil society does. We have to find ways to actually enable the civil society participation, because even sometimes when the door is opened, the civil society can't actually get there. Now, remote moderation has helped, and, and so it's an optimistic view of the multi-stakeholder model and multi-stakeholder governance, but I think it's a little too early to sort of say, and it has succeeded. We can look at major organizations that essentially have no multi-stakeholder governance in them yet. And, and even when we're in organizations like the, the IGF, which are firmly multi-stakeholder, some are still more equal than others. And so I think it's, it's wonderful to be here. It's wonderful to be on a panel on how far we've come, but I think we have so much further to go yet. Thanks. <laughs>